Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and we are opening some Pokemon blister packs today. I have a mini tower of blister packs here ranging from all different sets and I did something like this off camera recently and it was pretty fun and I actually got some pretty decent luck so I thought I would try it again on camera and see what we can pull today. So let's quickly check what we have here. So we have a little bit of Paldea Evolved. Temporal Forces, Paradox Rift, some Twilight Masquerade. I don't think I've opened that set before actually. Some Scarlet and Violet base set. And I believe there was just one pack of Silver Tempest as well somewhere here. I believe there's about 21 blister packs here. So Anything is possible today, guys. So let's rip these open and see what we can get. So I'll quickly show you what I pulled off camera. So I only had a couple of packs of Obsidian Flames. Managed to pull this bad boy in the last pack. So it was true last pack magic, which was really, really exciting. And then I only had two packs of Temporal Forces in the very first pack I opened. I somehow managed to pull this and honestly like with a lot of these newer pokemon sets i just go in blind because there's so much to catch up on it's a bit overwhelming so i really just like to just go in blind and just experience that excitement of seeing new cards and not really knowing anything about them so i pulled this and i thought it was absolutely beautiful with the um sakura tree and everything and then I looked it up and this card is about 83 Australian dollars. So <laughs> I was pretty chuffed to have pulled a $83 card just from one $6 pack of Temporal Forces. So not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, hopefully that luck can continue today and we'll see what we can do. So there's only one pack of Silver Tempest. So I think I'm just going to open that first. You never know. Maybe the Lugia's hiding in here. Who knows? Probably not, but... Um, oh, okay, that's open. Not okay, all right. I'll just... Give you guys the code once again. Um, okay, I think this one's four. One, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure Scarlet and Violet is only one. Okay, all right, so here we go. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, <sighs> uh, V Guard Energy, Murkrow, Emolga. Got that one tons of times. Meditate, Durant, Ralts, Emergency Jelly, Reverse. Ah, oh, damn! It's just a Incineroar. Damn! I wasn't really expecting anything from that pack, but. Anyway, it was good to see it once again because I do really love Silver Tempest, as you guys know. Um, okay, so let's start with opening some Scarlet and Violet base set. All right, first code card for you guys. So this is only one. All right, cool. I'm getting the hang of the card trick, guys. <laughs> oh, we have Slowpoke. That's a nice one, actually. Oh, okay. I already see some shine in the back and it's only our second pack in and it's the first pack for the Scarlet and Violet base set. It's actually a cool card too. Zangoose, uh, Crowagunk, oh my gosh that shine. Can you see it guys? Maybe not but oof it's teasing me so hard. Oh my gosh I hope it's something good and not just like a reverse holo or something. All right one more card left. All right, this is it. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, that gets me. Oh my gosh. See, that rainbow shine, man. It just <sighs> it plays tricks on you. Plays tricks on you for sure. Oh, anyway, we've got a poor Mott. <laughs> Hello. It looks really cute, but damn, thought it was something way crazier than that. All right, next code. Just one. Okay. I don't think I saw anything at the back here, so. Power Pad. 
La Bebe, <laughs> Toxel, Routes or Rolts. I don't know how to say it properly. <laughs> Falafi. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I love that. Youngster. Slowpoke reverse. Pawniard reverse. And, ooh. And. You know what? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> it's that guy. <laughs> So there is some really exciting product coming out guys for Pokemon. We have Surging Sparks which will be coming out in just a couple of days. We have the new Prismatic Evolution that just got announced the other day and it's already a smoking hot set. Smoking hot. I, before I even really saw any details or anything about it, I was already under the impression that it is going to be Evolving Skies 2.0. So definitely get in on that guys and yeah if you can buy some stock for yourself but also keep some sealed because I'm very confident it's going to do very very well. So yeah super exciting and evolutions like you can never go wrong with that it's just so iconic and so beloved by everyone so yeah it's gonna be a really really fun set there's also the news of a new gym leader team set and also team rocket oh i'm so hyped for the team rocket set that is going to be oh, so fun i think there's a little bit of information out there but i haven't looked into it recently it could be that maybe they've already said there's not going to be dark Pokemon, I think, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I hope they do, though, because that was like such a cool concept with that original uh, Team Rocket set, you know, way back when. So, yeah, it would be really good if they actually did bring that back. I feel like for the Team Rocket set, they're going to go really hard out with the like full illustration and alt arts and everything. So... They're going to look so cool. So really, really pumped about that. So excited. So yeah, it's all happening, people. Um, oh, that's a really cute Growlithe. I love that. Oh my goodness, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> okay. Belissi. That's a really beautiful one too. Keep that one aside. Jack. Rock Chestplate. Oh, Patchy Risu, reverse, and Rever Room. So yes, I will be opening Surging Sparks, although I think I'm actually going to open blister packs and not a whole booster box. I'll see how I go, but yeah, there's so much new product coming out. So yeah, I don't think I have um, enough side for a full booster box, but I think I have better luck with blister packs anyway. So, oh, okay. We have a Banet EX. First decent hit from this series. And I love the um, this kind of swirl texture in the back here. That's actually really cool. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. As I was saying, I feel like blister packs, yeah, I just have a bit more better luck. I mean, hopefully I'll have um, some really good luck today for you guys. But yeah, blister packs are pretty fun because, you know, anything can be in there. So I think, yeah, with Surging Sparks, I'm going to open blister packs as opposed to a booster box. Actually, speaking of, did anyone happen to see uh, PokeRev open all of those <laughs> boxes of Surging Sparks? Oh my goodness, that poor guy. <laughs> We're moving on to Paradox Rift now. So yeah, fingers crossed there's something decent in here. Wasn't really anything from the Scarlet and Violet base set. So yeah, let's see how our luck goes. Yeah, I can't remember how many boxes he actually opened, PokeRev, but yeah, the poor guy, he opened so many trying to chase a Pikachu card. He did eventually get one. So spoiler alert, sorry if um, you haven't seen those videos yet, but yeah, it was like so satisfying. For him to finally get it and yeah i was just really really happy for him so 
Yeah, he opened um, Japanese and English, so I think he pulled it from the English set. And it was a beautiful card. I would really love to get one of those myself. And we have a Steelix Hollow for the last card. Okay, here's the code. Yeah, let me know if you guys are actually using the code cards if you play online. Actually, that's another thing that's come out, the Pokemon Pocket. It looks really good, but me personally, I am pretty old school. I definitely prefer just physical cards, so I don't think I'll be getting in on that. But the cards that I have seen pulled, especially the Charizard, it looks really, really sick. Oh, okay. We have a Sandy Shocks EX. I am such a fan of this kind of sparkle foiling as well in the back. Really love that. So yeah, that looks pretty nice actually. All right, Cody. One card to the front. Oh, okay. Hmm, that actually looks like there was maybe something decent in the back. Hmm, okay. Let's see. All right, luxurious cape. That actually does look pretty luxurious. <laughs> Ambipom. Snorlax doll. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. Oh, Simipore. That actually looks really cool. Wimpod. All right, last card. Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> Chin Pow. Hollow. Actually, the artwork for that looks really really cool but yeah as usual i thought it was going to be something a bit more juicier but that's okay we still have plenty of packs left all right code this is the second last pack for paradox rift oh damn maybe my luck is better off camera <laughs> now nah, we'll see we'll see we still have other sets to do so yeah hopefully there's something pretty smoking in one of these other sets all right and we have Wu Qin to finish off this pack now the code oh that code's actually a little oh damaged in the back hopefully no these cards look okay all right here we go we've got some grass energy honage looks like a sword dweeble Horsey, Joltik, Veluza, Chantel, Garbordo, Dubblade, <laughs> that's funny, Crobat, and a Thievil, Hollow. Hmm, pretty nice. All right, we're now moving on to Twilight Masquerade and I haven't opened this set before and this one cracks me up. I love that they're kind of running out of ideas with Pokemon. So they're just doing things like this where it's like a bowl of matcha with the whisk. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, code card. Oh, that code card looks a little different. Hmm, cool. Um, yep, still one to the front. Okay, Lightning Energy, Varum, Wattrel, Volbeat, Goldeen. Oh, that's a nice Goldeen. Love that. I can never say this one, so I'm not going to try. Jamming Tower. Oh, Glaceon. Very nice. Love that. Oh, okay. One of these ones, Unfair Stamp. I actually really like these. They're really cool halucha and behind it oh okay we have a zapdos i i will happily take that even though it's just a hollow but really beautiful code card boom shakalaka all right chimcha pinsa fioni if I'm, if I'm mispronouncing these, um, yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> um, accompanying flute. Oh, Polywell, love that. And Frostlass, 
hollow. All right, here we go. It's funny that I say, I must have just jinxed myself because I said I usually have like pretty decent luck with um, blister packs and so far I've opened quite a few and I haven't really hit anything major. So yeah, normally my luck is a bit, a little bit better. I have better luck with Dragon Ball, definitely. Pokemon could be a bit better, but oh, okay, Alakazam Hollow. Hopefully my blister pack luck will improve when I open Surging Sparks, because I really, really would love one of those Pikachus, but yeah, they seem like they are pretty hard to pull naturally, but yeah, they're very, very nice cards. Alrighty, Enhanced Hammer. Kilo Watchful, Glalie, Volbeat, Darumaka. Oh, okay, Iron Thorns EX. Again, that looks really, really sick. I don't mind that at all. Okay, that was actually the last pack for Twilight Masquerade. So we're running low, guys. So now we're up to Temporal Forces. I only have three packs of this. All right, first code from Temple Forces. All righty. <laughs> Elgium. Sizzlepede. Oh, Meryl, that's really cute. Love that. Eri, Trainer. Colossal. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Boxed Order. Rock Rough. That's pretty cute as well. And Litten, also very cute. And Whimsicott, Hollow. To finish off our first pack of Temporal Forces. All right, there we go. Oops, not two, just one to the front. Okay. <laughs> Lickitung, that is so cool. I love that. <laughs> Slugma, Solosis. Ooh, Scyther, one of my faves from my childhood. Got to put that aside, actually. Ooh, code breaking. Okay. Behem. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Turtonator Reverse Hollow. Ooh, actually, I like the, the pattern in the Reverse Hollows. They're pretty nice. Litten. And uh, Drampa for the last card. <laughs> okay, last card pack for temporal forces come on please you treated me so well last time <laughs> all right rosalia or rosalia drilba cutie fly relor colossal <laughs> boxed order oh scream tail okay i love that effect that is actually really cool Put that aside. Oh, okay. Explorer's Guidance. It also has that really cool effect there. Oh, I love that. Hopefully there's something juicy waiting for me. Oh, and it's just a Dun Dunsbrass. Or however you say that. Hollow. Damn. <laughs> Okay, well, all we have is two, oops, two packs of Paldea Evolved. If we can hit that Iono, that would be pretty sweet, but I don't know. I feel like this is a bit of a dud opening video, guys, so I'm so sorry about that. I would like to do this again, though, um, and maybe try and get some different sets or definitely some more Obsidian Flames packs because I really love that set. So... Yeah, fingers crossed next time I do something like this, our luck will be a bit better. So yeah, sorry if this ends up not being a very juicy video for you guys. But that's how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes you have really good luck and you're on a hot streak and sometimes it's just completely dead. So it is what it is, but this is a very adorable Pikachu. So I'll happily take that even just for a common. I beg your pardon. <laughs> okay. I had to do a double take, guys, because I've never seen this Pokemon before. And the name completely threw me off because I read that as something completely different. <laughs> so, 
yeah, interesting uh, name choice for a Pokemon. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Alright, we have Krogunk. That is so funny, I can't get over that. Uh, Rikidi. Like, the ghetto side of me was seriously about to come out and just wreak havoc. <laughs> Paldean Taurus. Oh, that's a cool artwork. Love that. Skiploom. Very pretty. Oh, Rikidi again, but a reverse. Oops, I'm not skipping a card in my Nope. Oh, Luminous Energy. Okay. And Oricorio as a holo. All right, last code card. <sighs> Fingers crossed. All right, one card to the front. Oh, Fire Energy. Hopefully that's a good sign. Tandy Mouse. So cute. Satoddle. Knackly. That almost looks like the mushrooms from Super Mario, but like a rock version. That's kind of funny. Fukoko. Skiploom. Dendra. Palosand. Oh, we have a Iono Reverse Hollow. That's pretty nice. Bravery Charm. Okay. Last card, people. Fingers crossed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sableye Hollow. Today just wasn't my day, people. <laughs> All right, but not to worry. Okay, so we got a ton of hollows, and the only real juicy hits were this Iron Thorns EX, Sandy Shocks EX, and a Bennett EX. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, even though there wasn't any crazy fire pulls or anything like that. Um, it just is like that sometimes. So yeah, I hope you still enjoyed the video nonetheless. And I would like to do this again. And as I mentioned, I will be opening Surging Sparks. So hopefully I get that set on time. Um, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one.